Well, folks, there it is. I got it hooked up and uh, even made this heat shield here. So what was happening is it's air cooling. It was blowing hot air out onto this uh, snowblower last year. So then it would snow and melt and gunk up in here, plug up. So trying this, uh, see if this helps out with that. Got the headlights working. We're ready to roll. All right, we'll see you next time. Well, folks, my new bearing and uh, my new part showed up for that front PTO on this Cub Cadet. And uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but <clears throat> compare this new bearing the old you see how it's this old bearing is worn and along this edge and this new bearing is uh, perfect there but you can see the oblong shape of that and then this is the new lock ring you can see the oblong shape of that too so what happens is they they go on the shaft and then uh, this uh, sleeve it turns and it locks the bearing to this and then there's a set screw so what I'm going to do is I'm going to there's a little hole here for a, I think to, for a punch as well so I'm going to put this on lock the bearing into it and then take the take this punch I've got here and in, in, uh, in the hammer and lock them together good and tight and then tighten the set sc screw here so hopefully i won't have any more trouble with it this winter anyway and it seems to be one of the problems i've been having with this uh, during mowing season and uh snow blowing so okay i'll get this installed and just one more thing, folks. I ordered these parts from uh, CubCadetWarehouse.com, I believe. And uh, there are uh, some folks down Indiana way. And uh, they do a good job of getting parts to you right away. So if you need any for your cub, go look them up. Well, folks, I decided to go ahead and rebuild this... Uh, PTO since I've had I've had I have it off you can see this old uh, <clears throat> this is actually what drives the uh, implement snowblower or lawnmower <clears throat> and that's the old one you can see that's got a couple teeth missing I'm not sure what I can't remember what this is called but Trying to get the new one out of the bag here. So you can see the difference. That's a new one. That's the one I've had down there. I actually bought this PTO a couple years ago. So I'm going to replace this and then this is a, some kind of spring metal. But you can see it's fairly flat. Here's the old one. See how it's all concaved. But the big thing I wanted to replace was this <coughs> this gear, or this drive gear. So I figured since I'm replacing that, I might as well rebuild the whole thing. So first thing I need to do is set this new spring sheet metal in here. And then this button goes on here like that, like so. And then these little arms go on that slot on that brake button. And then the screw goes through that. The next one in. The 
screw in. <clears throat> Looks pretty easy, huh? Anyhow, and then this brake goes over top of this. And then flip it over. Put these little springs back on and then put the nuts on the screws and then you tighten it down. Here's a there's a gauge here. They, they give you this gauge to measure everything by. So you tighten it down until this gauge, its edges hit the edge of the pulley. And let me see if I can show you a little bit more step by step here. Okay, folks. Okay, folks, I've got the, uh, the whole thing turned over, nothing tightened yet, and you're supposed to send this new gear on here, and the center line of this gear stud, I guess you'd call it, I'm not sure, is supposed to be over the set screw. See that set screw hole? Right there, so the center of that gear tooth, gear tooth, is centered over the set screw hole, and then the whole gear is centered over the clutch. And then <clears throat> there's this back plate. Um, this looks like it could get a little tricky trying to hold the camera and these parts together. And tightening the screws down. But, uh, so then this plate goes over that. And then the nuts tighten that down, so... Let's see if I can get this together and then catch up with you afterward. And again, folks, make sure you put these little springs back on here <clears throat> before you put on the cover plate for that gear, like such. And then uh, you'll be all set to uh, start bolting this thing back together. Again, make sure that gear is centered on those set screw holes. At least, once you set one tooth of, the, tooth of it on there, all the rest will follow suit. <clears throat> okay, let me bolt this thing up and give you more updates. Okay, folks, I've got the... I've got the nuts on the other side of these screws snugged up. <clears throat> you can see the idea is get the spring steel in place here. Get the uh, center of this gear on the whole unit here. And then the idea is to have these tabs in this little brake button, they call it. There's a groove there these tabs go into so as you tighten it down we're gonna it's gonna compress this spring steel and then once that gets compressed you start all right then okay I've got everything in place <clears throat> got these screws snugged up and these bolts or these nuts tightened up equally that's the key get them equal on those screws you can see how that gear tooth is aligned sort of centered on that uh, set screw hole and uh, now I just have to tighten everything down and compress the spring steel um, to what this gauge 
uh, requires it to be. So that's next, folks. All right, folks, I've got this set in place, tightened down. You can see that gauge is seated at the ends. No longer rocks. All three of these positions. And these uh, bolts are all equally tightened with the nuts. So now I just put, I need to put the, these lock nuts on here. Lock those down. 